Accio Loot Crate. Let's unbox the magic. Good day, my fellow nerds. My name is Larissa, and it's time for another Wizarding Well Crate unboxing. So this is the May Dark Arts Crate. So there's a darker side to magic, and we're exploring its desk with exclusively created collectibles, apparel, replicas, and more, showcasing the people, places, and creatures and things associated with the dark arts of the Wizarding World. So this is exciting, and I notice it's got the dark mark sticker. On the box, like in the last crates, I've had the Muggle Worthy sticker from Fantastic Beasts, so it's actually got the dark mark on it, which is cool. Because these crates are not just Harry Potter, they've got Fantastic Beasts items in them as well. And they're bi monthly, so this is the May one, and the last one I had was March, which was Hogwarts House Pride, which I got this awesome, awesome t shirt. <laughs> and my Ravenclaw beanie as well, which I love. So um, when you subscribe, you select your house, so Ravenclaw for me. Um, I'm hoping they're going to have house signs a bit more regularly. I know they had some issues with them in the past, so hopefully we're going to have them more often in the crates. So let's go ahead and open this up. So opening it up. That's inside. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, ooh, okay. I like the, the skulls and everything on here. That's pretty cool. A bit creepy. <laughs> it's actually a really small box. I didn't mention that either. So it's very compact and I can see the t-shirt straight away. I'm just going to move the t-shirt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, what have we got? So we've got a stationary wax stamp set, which is really neat. So it's in like a bag. So let me get this out of the plastic so you can see it. Okay, so I just got it all out of the plastic. So I got these awesome envelopes here which look like they got um i'm not sure what actual symbol it is i'm trying to think it's got the snakes and it looks like from the chamber of secrets i'm not sure if you can really see that with the camera it's a little hard to see oh yeah you can just see so it looks like the chamber of secrets um the door with the snakes so it's cool so all black envelopes they're just yeah playing with nothing else on them and got this i haven't opened this yet so let's see i see more plastic so this must be a wax set. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So we've got a stick of red wax. And then we've got the stamp, which I'll just put this out of its wrapper. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so it's got the same symbol on it again with the snakes. I'm not sure if you can really see that there. My camera's going to focus. I'll just put a photo up if it's not going to focus. So this is really neat. I like it. I like the gold on it. And it's got Warner Brothers. Um, oh, yeah. I can't really see it there very well. It's got the Water Brothers on it marking. I don't think these are an exclusive item. I didn't see exclusive on it. I just just got to stand like, you know, stationary wax um, stamp set. Um, stationary wax stamp set. Yeah, it's a bit hard to read. Yeah, so it's got, contains a wax stick, stamp, six envelopes, six note cards and a velvet bag. I didn't see the note cards unless they're... Oh, these are actual cards. Oh, okay. So they look the same as the envelopes. So it's actually, yeah, just plain black with the symbol on the front of it and then the rest of the envelopes. Cool. And it's cool. I like it. I'm not sure if I'll use them, but it's neat. It's a neat item, so I think it's pretty cool. And it comes in this little black bag. I think I've seen similar things before in stores, but not, not this actual set, though, I don't think. So that's cool. I like it. Um, now, the next item I saw when I was opening that up, <laughs> it's got, I've forgotten her name. You had to forgive me. I've got, forgotten her name, but it's got... Um, for the life of me. It's got her um her cats on it. Set of four collectible plate set. This is this is awesome. Um yeah that's the other side. <gasps> oh I got her cats. Oh god I forgot her name. Ah uh, forgive me. That's right I'll put it up on the screen. Who I'm talking about you know who I'm talking about the pink lady who everyone hates. I think most people hate her more than Voldemort. <laughs> she was horrible. <laughs> Okay, so these are so awesome. Oh my god, there's different sizes. Okay. These are so cute. I might even give these to one of my um, my friends who loves cats. Otherwise, I might keep them for myself. I don't know where I've got to put them though. So this is the little one. Actually, I'll just put photos of them up on the screen because my camera is not going to focus today. So you've got a little one. We've got this other sort of medium sized one. <laughs> the bigger one with the cats in the baskets. And then the, um, the large one with the actual cat on it. I think these are the actual ones from the show, aren't they? I think. I think they are. That's really cool. Of course, then they show they moved. <laughs> that's really neat, though. I like it. That's so cool. I was not expecting that, and that's fantastic. I love it. I love it a lot. What does it say? Um, I don't think this is a Loot Crate exclusive either. Oh, no, it is. Sorry. Yeah, set of four exclusive collection presented by Loot Crate Inc. There you go. 
collectible plate set. Yeah. So it is actually an exclusive. That's neat. Okay. I don't think the um, the wax it did. Oh no, it did. So this one, um, the wax it actually does say uh, distributed by Loot Crating. So it is an exclusive. There you go. It was on the back. I didn't see it in tiny print. Yeah, that's awesome. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> totally unexpected. That is awesome. Okay. Um, what else have we got here? That's the... Is this the pin? Because I put a pin in each one. Oh, it looks like they've done something to the scroll. Um, I'm not sure if this is the pin or not. Actually, I'm just going to skip that item and just go to this item. So this looks like it's a pencil case. It's got Azkaban Prison on it, which is sweet. And I'm pretty sure that's the prison um, for um, Sirius Black, I think. But I could be wrong. Let's get it out. Okay, so it's got Loot Crate exclusive again on the tag, so that was awesome. I love these exclusive items, so it's just got it's got Harry Potter there, and then yeah, there's an Azkaban, pretty neat, and the tag's got Loot Crate on it. And that's the other side, so it's the same on either side. Yeah, it's a good sized little pencil case actually, so that's neat. Yeah, this is just plain inside, just a pencil case, that's cool, I like it. Like with the wax stamp, like I don't know that you use the wax stamp stationery set very often, but they're useful items again, which is really cool. Cool household items, I like that. I love figurines, but I also love household items you can use and wearables. So, <laughs> so I think this is the pin. Um, so it looks a bit different. So yeah, every crate you get a pin. All the loot crates you always get a pin of some sorts. But the Wizarding World one, have, um, they've been really large, like almost like brooches. Except for the last one, the um, was just the wizarding hat. Actually, I was trying to find it. I think it's on my leather jacket somewhere. <laughs> um, but let's get this one out. It feels really heavy. Was it earrings or something? Or was it a brooch? Oh, no, it's a brooch. Tom Riddle's diary. Oh, my God. That's awesome. And it's so sweet. With the um, whole one and as well. And the basilic lisk, um fang, too. And I bet you can... Can you actually put it in the hole? I don't know. Oh, it's stuck tight in. I think you can though. That's really cool. Oh, oh that's awesome. This is definitely my favourite pin. I love the, the sorting hat one from the last crate, but and uh, the previous crates have really cool pins too. But this is just really <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that's great. That's cool. And yeah, fits the theme. All the items are fitting the theme so far, so it's really cool. Um, now, last is about all the items. So let's have a look at the t-shirt. Now, this t-shirt actually feels quite thick. Is it long sleeve again? No, it's just a t-shirt. It's just quite big. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Oh, of course, it's got, um, what's his name from Fantastic Beast. So my, my brain is not working today with names. <laughs> We've lived in the shadows for too long. That is awesome. It's got the um, Deathly Hallows symbol on the bottom of it as well. That's really cool. I really like the t-shirt. It's quite soft material as well this is a, a medium i think this is the unisex size because they changed the unisex sizing now so i might need to change to a small i just went medium just to be safe because u.s sizing is so different from australian sizing so this looks quite large so i might change to a small um but yeah they create exclusive again as well but it's a really cool t-shirt i like it it reminds me of the um the snake one they had in the time crepe very sort of similar style to that it's cool okay so <laughs> Um, the last case they've had a scroll. This is an envelope. So it's actually got, yeah. But it all had the, like the, the stick on it. Actually, this is, actually, it doesn't even open like that. I think it goes. Oh, it's folded. Oh, there we go. Oh. So this is going to tell us what all the items were. Oh, there's a different sort of style to the past. It's cool. Okay, so. Um, oh, I just got what I read out at the beginning, so I don't read that out again. This creates magical loot. So let's go over what we got. I'm going to move to the side. I can't move. Um, okay, Percival Graves. That's right, that's who it was from Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, it's time to come out of the shadows with an exclusively designed Percival Graves t shirt, which is really cool. Um, Professor Umbridge. That's who it was, the pink lady. I couldn't think of her name. Frolic some feline plates. <laughs> Torn your table or walls with these replica plates based on the magical frolics and some uh, frolics, some feline collection favored by Dolores Umbridge. They're so funny. I love them. The Azkaban pouch. Carry your accessories in this pouch designed after the inmates plates from Azkaban. A reminder of where following the dark arts could lead. Yeah, so that's right. It's not the, it's the, yeah, the prison number. Which is, yeah, like what um, Sirius Black was holding out in the um, newspaper articles and such. Um, they say it's just a pouch. I think it's more like a pencil case, but they're just calling it a pouch. But, yeah. 
That's cool. Um, <laughs> Chamber of Secrets. I was right. Stationary set. Write to your fellow witches and wizards with this Chamber of Secrets stationary set and wax seal. And then we have got the Tom Riddle Diary Pin. Tom Riddle's Diary Pin is inspired by one of the darkest forms of magic and the moment Harry destroyed the first of the Dark Lord's prized Horcruxes. So yeah, they're all exclusives this month, which is really awesome. So they continue with the exclusives because the first crate didn't have any... Well, I had a couple exclusive items, but I had a, quite a few that weren't and quite a few people got a bit upset about that. So I'm glad they got more exclusive. No house item. Right, originally there was going to be a house item in each crate, but I guess they're not doing that now. But it would be nice if they did, but that's okay. I really do like this uh, month's crate. Move back into the middle. Um, my favourite item... <laughs> I'm not sure which, I think I'm going to choose the cat plates, the feline plates. I just think they're just so cute. And, well, in, in, you know, in a way, a cat. Uh, I'm not hugely a cat person. Um, like my username for a lot of things is Angel Kitty <laughs> from when I was at high school. But um, um, I like the cats. It's just funny. It was totally unexpected and I love it. Um, but I also do like the wax stamp set, the pin. The pin's amazing. The pen, the case, the pouch thing. Yeah, that's okay. It's still cool. I like it. Um, but yeah, no, overall, it's a very awesome crate. So let me know what you thought of this crate in the comments below and the items and if you got this crate as well. Um, July. It's funny because May is dark arts. July is defense against the dark arts. <laughs> so to face the foulest creatures and most hideous curses known to Wizardkind, you will need to master your defense against the dark arts. Unbox the latest crate from J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World with specially curated collectibles, artifacts, apparel, and more. So you have to the 3rd of July to subscribe to not miss out the 35 US dollars before postage. It works out for us Aussies about $70, which is not bad when you think it's bi-monthly. So it's $35 a month, but it is a payment that comes out bi-monthly. So it comes out each month, the crates come out, so payment in May, July, etc. Um, I'll pop links to the web, uh, Loot Crate's website below, so you can click on that and subscribe. My frame referral link's also there. If you're going to subscribe, please click on my frame referral link. It'll take you to the Loot Crate website, but if you subscribe using that link, it will help me out and also help towards getting a discount code for you guys to use in the future. And they do all sorts of different crates. This is one of the specialty crates, and they do like the uh, drum box with a regular crate, the gaming crate. They've got a pets crate as well. They've got lots of different ones to check out. But yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Which one's your favourite item? Are you a huge Harry Potter fan? Which house do you belong to? Check out my other videos. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next crate. Okay, bye!